Hi everyone, I'm Carol, the editor of NOSH, and we are back at Expo West. I am joined by Seth Goldman and Spike Mendelson, the co-founders of Eat the Change. Uh, you may recognize Seth from a lot of our BevNet content as the founder of Honesty, but now it's Nosh's turn. So <laughs> hey. Seth, tell me a little bit about uh, what is Eat the Change and what are you guys up to? So it's a brand that's just about a year old. Spike and I launched it together and the whole concept is chef crafted, planet friendly foods. So we develop products where we've looked at the water footprint of the crop to make sure it's as water efficient as can be, organic ingredients, plant based. And then once we sort of have those guardrails, we turn it over to the chef to, to put an amazing touch on it. And what are you guys launching here at the show today? Yeah, so we have, uh, we have two different categories. We launched our mushroom jerky, which has five different SKUs. It's organic mushrooms. We use portobello, cremini, and white butter mushrooms. The reason we use all three is actually we use the cast off. So the imperfect mushrooms that don't make it to market, we come in and rescue those. We marinate them in five different flavors. Uh, and then we smoke them with real hickory smoke, not the fake stuff. And then we dehydrate them to perfectionists. Uh, our new product is the Cosmic Carrot Chews. Uh, you know, if you look at the category right now of uh, fruit chews. Or what are they called, fruit chews. Uh, all fruit chews. Three unfortunate things, you know, no fruit, uh, empty calories, and no nutrients. So we come in with a real product. What you see is what you get. We marinate the carrots, flavor them, and turn them into deliciousness. We really wanted the idea with the, fruit chew, the carrot chews was to mimic what happened with Honest Kids. You know, a really successful innovation where the parents loved it and the kids liked it and it really shook up a category. We hope to do the same with kids' snacks. I hear it was a bit of an accident that these came oh, yeah. about, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, innovation is always part of what we like to do at the Eat the Change. So we were actually chasing a ruffled carrot chip, and I was sent these carrots that really didn't fit the spec that we needed. Uh, we have a strict no food waste policy in our, in our office, of course, because of uh, Seth's sons that keep me really honest. So instead of turning them into soup, we just threw some marinade on them, threw them in the dehydrator and came back the next morning. And I actually thought it was a failed exper experiment. Uh, they looked like carrot raisins, but uh, Seth walked into the R&D kitchen. We started kind of munching on them and we started looking at each other and we we're like, oh, wait a second. These taste pretty delicious. We might be onto something here. So we recreated them the next day and uh, we got a little bit of a carrot chew. And what's amazing, so they have the full vitamin A of a carrot, they have the fiber, um, and they also just are nutritionally available because they're slightly cooked, which actually is healthier than raw carrots. So it's a really um, fun design product. And Seth, one of the things I was most impressed with was um, there was a discussion on LinkedIn about people were saying, why don't you just go out and eat raw right. carrots? Have your kids <laughs> eat raw carrots. And you kind of explained how you approach products for kids or just products in general as, you know, incrementally better. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit so, about that? So, yeah, and it goes all the way back to my time at Honest Tea. We actually have been asked by some of our customers, our QSR customers, could we develop a Honest Kid snack? And we were looking at fruit snacks and they may be like a little bit less caloric, a little more fiber. And now in retrospect, I say, ah, that, that wasn't going to move the needle. And so when we can bring, I mean, look, I said, if you can feed your carrots and you get your kids to eat raw carrots, there's obviously nothing wrong with that. Do that as much as you can. But it's not a, it fails to recognize where most parents and most kids are. And so um, rather than just insist on only feeding kids raw carrots, let's reach all of the kids who are eating these fruit snacks or less healthy products and give them a chance to have a whole food um, with all the nutrients in it. And you know what we saw, you could say the same with honest kids. We should, kids should just be drinking water. Um, but it's just not what a kid's interested in. It's and meeting the customer where exactly, they are yeah. versus trying to push them too far out of the comfort zone. Yeah, and, and, you know, you can't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. And so when you can think that way and when you can connect with the consumer that way, you have the ability to make a huge impact. And, you know, Honest Kids, as an example, has removed billions of calories from the American diet by getting kids to move towards less sweet drinks. And we hope, you know, here to have kids eating a lot more vegetables. Well, and I think you raise a good point. You know, there are a lot of products that are purporting to be better for you yeah. and maybe, um, you know, are a little bit better for you, but yeah. perhaps not uh, an entire serving of vegetables. So how do you kind of quickly convey to parents on the shelf, no, no, we're right. really different. Well, just one thing, you know, all of us in the NOSH community, meaning food entrepreneurs, should never think about just doing something a little bit better from a competitive standpoint because 
that's not going to work. You know, the wires don't want something a little bit better. They want something fundamentally different, and parents want something really different better. So our challenge here is to communicate to parents what this is and help them understand it. We're going to do a ton of sampling. But from a buyer's perspective, this is easy to understand because there aren't vegetable-based products on the shelves like this for kids. And so um, we just have to make sure our package communicates it qu clearly, and then we'll do a lot of demos and, and marketing behind it. Now, Spike, you have an incredibly rich culinary background. Um, I imagine you could go wild in the kitchen with crazy flavors. Um, and maybe Seth's the one who's like, whoa. Like, <laughs> yeah, he, pull, he pulls yeah. me back. Yeah. yeah. So how do you guys go about marrying um, this culinary experience with CPG where you're appealing to kind of a you know, wide range of consumers and you probably need to create something that everybody might like, yeah. especially picky eaters like kids. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I'm the type of chef, I, I, I like, you know, I like innovation, but I don't love reinventing what people will actually love to eat and are used to and accustomed to. We like just to introduce them in a little bit of a different way. But when Seth and I met, it was funny because he first said, when we first started jerky, he said, make me the best jerky you can make possible, right? And I put that in front. And you were like, wait, I <laughs> should have added more like caveats right. onto that. No, and, that, and by the way, that's exactly what he did. He put, he, he kind of created a Top Chef challenge, which I was used to, right? So one of our guardrails is we don't use the top six ingredients that, that supply over 65% of our, our food, right? Things like soy, sugar cane, corn, just to name a few. So those I can't use. So think about how do I make jerky sweet? How do I do it? So. Just gotta, you know, the, the more I started to discover the space and learn about the ingredients, it is possible to make delicious snacks with excluding those things. And that's kind of a, how, how we create it. And we consult a lot on flavors. We do yeah. a lot of tastings. Yeah. You know, like the first three flavors, one sour cherry berry for, uh, for the, uh, the carrot juice. Then we have an orange mango and an apple cinnamon. So we, we play into flavors that people are really used to but we just make a better snack. And they also have to complement the carrot, right? right? So, you know, we initially were looking, could we do a savory and just, the carrot's got an, a sweetness to it, so it wasn't coming out as well when, it, we, when we made it savory. Yeah, and the great thing is we, there's absolutely no added sugar uh, except for the apple concentrate that we soak it in a little bit and the natural sugars in the, uh, the carrot, so. And one of the really great things about both of these products is that they're the, two of the most water efficient crops there are. So, um, you know, you, it takes over 300 gallons of water to grow a pound of soybeans, but um, for both of these, under 30 gallons of water to grow a pound of mushrooms or carrots. So um, this is another part of how we think about Eat the Change. All right, guys. Well, thanks for sharing a little bit about Eat the Change. Excited to stay in touch and see what crazy innovations you come up with next. Great to be with you, Carol. Great to be with you. And remember, snack eat, to the future. Eat the change.